Hey wonderful people, how on a day? Welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry better a proko congivuna about waiting the soap for palace. As the Tori where the riches right now from inside the palace of a only of if a be say that Kavi AC ran to Akire this time around on hearing that Prince the Denekao is sick. That is the news we are hearing that uh, Prince Tedenekawo, as of yesterday evening, wasn't uh, feeling too well. And Queen Naomi have no other option than to inform his father, CEO, your son, Prince Tedenekawo, isn't uh, feeling too fine, though we heard that they have uh, family doctors. So Kaviesi did not hesitate to call their family doctors to come and see Prince Tedenekawo and give him the treatment that he needs. Remember, he's a child, and now that uh, school has it's resumed, really his body is adapting to changes. Maybe that is what caused him sickness, though we're hearing that uh, his sickness is not that severe. But Unano say children need proper attention. Yes. Anytime you feel that they are not the way they are, you need to inform doctors or you take the child to the hospital. So we heard that Queen Naomi has been monitoring Prince Tedenekau. And as of yesterday, he wasn't playing the way he normally plays and all that. He was just so quiet. So that was when Queen Naomi noticed that something was wrong with him. Yes. So he had to ask him question, and he keep on saying that uh, he is having headache, that uh, his head is paining him. That was when Queen Naomi said that uh, let him inform KBAC. And we heard that Queen Naomi told her, her special advisor, and they called KBAC to inform him. Yes, remember Queen Naomi and KBAC is still having lifts. That is why Mommy Tedenekau did not call KBAC by. Uh, by herself. So when Naomi told her PA and her PA called Kabiesi and informed Kabiesi that uh, your son is not feeling so well. And today, this early moment, we heard that uh, Kabiesi has already been in Akira to see uh, Prince Tedenekawo and know what uh, is wrong with him. And at the same time, he has already sent a doctor. We heard that as of yesterday, the doctor has already begun treating Prince Tedenekawo. So we are expecting that he will be well soon. So my correct people now did tell you where we carry on, but we heard that as Kabiesi entered Akira Mansion, remember, Kabiesi has tried so many times to have his way in that Akira mansion, which Queen Naomi, as we had, refused to the extent of Queen Naomi locking him outside the gate. Some people may not understand what it means for Kaviesi to be locked outside the gate. A first class monarch of Yoruba nation as a whole to be locked outside the gate because of uh, a woman. Some people may not understand what it meant. But it is too huge. It is so much embarrassment for KBAC. Yes. But Queen Naomi has no other option than to do it. Queen Naomi has seen a lot. And she was thinking that KBAC is a changed man. But it seems that KBAC is not too ready to change. So Queen Naomi got to show KBAC that she, Queen Naomi, she also have views. Maybe KBAC has forgotten that her mommy said in a cow. Is, uh, is a woman with, you know, principal. Mommy Tedeneka will share her principal as we heard. So maybe Kabiesi has forgotten because of the love Queen Naomi have where he is. But Mommy Tedeneka time around decided to show Kabiesi that she is still the person she is. So Kabiesi being locked outside the gate the other day when Naomi did not agree to come out. So you see that uh, their love is still facing a lot of problems. But today we heard that Due to Prince Tedenika, who wasn't uh, feeling so fine, the gate was open for KBAC. Immediately, he came. The security around opened the gate for KBAC, and he came in. Yes, we heard that Queen Naomi's mansion in Akira is so beautiful, both the down part and the upper part. The thing is that 
the head uh, Prince Delineka was already downstairs with his mates. Yes, Kabye is still with Naomi mates that will be taking care of Prince Delineka. One thing about KBC is that he vowed that Queen Naomi and Prince Tedeneka will not suffer. And he has been doing everything in his power to see that both of them are living so comfortable. And they are okay. You can't really say Queen Naomi is lacking anything. KBC is taking care of them very well. That's why we need to applaud KBC for that. He is nearly trying where Prince Tedeneka is. So we heard that uh, KBC had his way in. When Naomi was upstairs, Kabiesi was downstairs with Prince Tedenikawo and the mate. So we heard that both of them, they bonded, yes? Kabiesi was so happy to see Prince Tede. Prince Tede was so happy to see his father. And one thing with Prince Tedenikawo is any time that they are separate, where he is separate from his father, he keeps on asking questions. Because even though he wasn't feeling so well today, we heard that when KBAC came in, Prince Tedenikawa was just asking him questions. That when are they going to return back to the palace? This is the question KBAC has been receiving from Prince Tedenikawa. Yes, Prince Tedenikawa has asked this question. But when are not children, that is what he wanted. Normally, children today ask questions for those who get children for house. Then too, they ask questions. He might be asking one question from morning to evening. Until you do that thing before, he will forget about it. So, as Queen Naomi and Kabiesi doesn't want to come together, Prince Tedinikawo is asking the same question he asked his father some days back. That when are they going to return back to the palace? That he no longer wants to stay in Akira Mansion with his mother. He wants to just be together with both of them. He doesn't want staying only with his mother, that he is missing his father. This is what Prince Tedeneka was just telling his father today. And Kabiesi, as we all know, is always being disturbed whenever Prince Tedeneka asks questions why they are living separate. Yes, Kabiesi is always being disturbed because at this point, you can't really know want to answer the child. And there is no way Kabiesi is going to lie to his uh, first son. It is not done. And we heard that Kabiesi keep on making promises that he will make it right again for both of them to return back to the palace. That is what we heard Kabiesi was telling Prince Tedenikawo in Akire Mansion when he came in to see Prince Tedenikawo on getting the news that he wasn't a uh, feeling so well though we heard that their family doctor is giving him treatment and he's recovering when i know say children once they start school their body system changed maybe that is what is wrong with prince tedenical so my correct people now within the sofa palace as alleged i'm very good make gonna try to come out for this matter drop your comments give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel stay tuned stay connected for more updates, we'll be dropping from time to time about waiting the stuff for 